Listen here, friends. Now, my Zhang Ling team has been pretty good at destroying the Abyss and has always been one of my two 36-star Abyss teams. But I am lazy. So I need to make the Abyss even easier for myself. So for that reason, today we will be fully maxing my Zhang Ling party. I say maxing, maxing to the best of my ability. And also I say maxing today, but this video is gonna take like multiple weeks to make. But uh, not for you, it's all in one video for you. So I have no super duper concrete way of testing my current Zhang Ling's party's overall DPS, but uh, we'll, we'll give it a try. And we'll set the benchmark by, um, uh, yeah, let's, let's bully the Geo Varship boss. Geo Varship, uh, how do you say that? All right, good deal, let's go. <laughs> And more specifically, uh, we're going to see how close to death we can get the, the, the Geo Varship boss in one team rotation, yeah. aka uh, one Pyronado from Zhang Ling. Currently imbued with Electro, which means uh, my Zhang Ling and Tataglia child will be doing full damage, because if he had Pyro Infusion, he'd have way more Pyro Resistance. So, um, we'll let Guobo out. Bennett first, Sucro Sprawl, let out Zhang Ling, and then child auto attacks. And uh, hitting some nice 46k's. I guess we'll use Child's first as well. Oh wait, uh... Um... Now you see, that wasn't meant to happen. He wasn't meant to die. I want to see how low I could get, <laughs> get his health. Uh, well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Um, so I guess what we'll do instead is I will, uh... <laughs> I will time how long it took for him to die. Um, from the first hit until uh, he started his death animation. Now, I don't want to bore you too much with the math, but here we go. So, as you can see, the kill time from Bennett hitting his first hit and the Geo Varship dying, it took 14.145 seconds. And the Geo Varship has 781,544 health, so my average DPS is 55,252 DPS, which is kind of insane. And uh, just for comparison later, Zhang Ling's max crit in this scenario was 46,376, and when Zhao used his burst, he created 142,879. So now that we have some benchmark numbers, let's get upgrading. Now there are multiple ways to make your characters and team better. The first and most consistent way is to just simply upgrade their talents, because that just straight up just gives you more damage. More specifically, Zhang Ling's burst, but uh... Damn, that's uh, that's gonna require a crown and then uh, lots of books. Oh, okay. Now, Zhang Ling, these books are for you, so it's only fair that you get them yourself. Double check these are the right books. Uh, diligence, that's what she needs, right? I'm double checking because, tragic story, a while back there was a uh, week where you could claim uh, book domains, like three per day for half the price. And you know, I took advantage of that. But um, if we just take a look at which books I farmed. Oh, oh no. Pr prosperity. So yeah, I farmed the entirely wrong books for the entire week. Uh, ju just so you know, prosperity books are used by Ketching, Ningguang, Chi Chi, The Traveler, and Zhao. <laughs> All of which I either don't have or I do not want to build. Now, uh, Z Zhang Ling might struggle. Oh goodness. Zhang Ling might struggle slightly soloing this, but uh, you know, life's tough, tough sometimes. Oh, oh well. Um, so, you know, we are actually trying to improve the entire team, so actually, let's bring the entire team along. Everybody stand up. Absorption test. My goodness, you guys are synced up. You hurt my ears. No time to lose. Terrible. Now that's a more like it. Oh, this is tragic. I've ran out of resin. Whatever will I do? Well, you see, you see this little battle pass thing. I've been doing this thing over the last, uh, well, 24 days. Hmm, level 50. I've been doing this thing called a uh, saving. I haven't claimed any of the rewards yet, which includes lots of fragile resin. Oh, I do buy the battle pass. So look at all these rewards I'm about to get. Mm, claim all, please. Diligence, yes, please. I have every single battle pass weapon except the bow and the sword, but I have a Skyward Harp, so I should probably just get the sword. Good deal. Diligence, light, light, diligence. Oh. 
Look at all those rewards. Prime gems, 2.8 million Mora. Some fates, a black sword. Here is, what? look at 10 fragile resin. We're not gonna run out of resin for a solid while, I think. I need 16, so you know, I only need to make five of these. So uh, thank you, Jin Cho, saving me some resources. All right, let's take a little look-see here. Uh, oh, we're kind of, we're kind of running low on Devaling Claws. Huh. Doing anything less than a level 90 Storm Terror is a sin. I'm sorry, Devalin. You are under control of the Abyss Majors and we can't have that. So for that reason, you must be executed by the child and Chang Ling and Bennett and friends. Wait, where are you going? Come back. Get snipeed. I'm sorry, Devalin. It's time. This will be embarrassing. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry to bump. This had to be done. I need to- Oh, my pyronator isn't hip hitting. There we go. Now, cough up the claws. Look at this fragile resin. Mmm. Um, two Dvalin plumes. That's not the one I wanted. And that's a bad gladiator's plume. And no dream solvents. Now, luckily for me, if we take a little peek see into my inventory, you'll see that we have a- uh, Wait, where are they? Uh, nine dream solvents. So, you know, we can just, uh, we can make some more claws, but right now we don't need more claws. Okay, Zhang Ling, it's time to crown that burst. 224% damage. So expensive. Oh, 238% damage. You have been crowned. You're welcome, Zhang Ling. You're welcome. Man, I'm not used to having so much money. Look at 6.5 million Mora. Before Inazuma got released, fun fact, I was just a peasant the entire time. I never had money because I always spend my resin on artifact domains and never on ley lines. But ever since uh, Inazuma came out, I just had lots of money. So uh, this is new to me. Now, how else can we upgrade Zhang Ling? I guess the weapon, but you know, I don't have any more five-star weapons. Hu Tao uses my death match that I have. So I use a Blackcliff Polearm on Zhang Ling, which is like a really bad weapon, but it has crit damage substats. That's pretty good. You may have guessed it, but I never wish on the weapon banner. So um, we'll stick with the Blackcliff Polearm. There's no upgrades I can really do here. Now, the last thing, we've looked at talents. We crowned her. We've looked at weapons and we can't do anything. She's already Constellation 6. Artifacts. The RNG bane of everybody's existence. Now, for me, we're gonna look at these artifacts and uh, you might be a little impressed. So, so firstly, what two-piece noblesse, two-piece crimson witch, mm -hmm, pretty decent. Let's have a look at these artifact substat. Oh! 14.4% crit rate and 14% crit damage? With a little bit of elemental mastery sprinkled in? That's pretty good. Well, what about the plume? The plume can't be as good as, oh my, 15.2% crit rate and 7% crit damage? This is pretty good. Well, I mean, right, this can't continue. Sands? Okay, the sands isn't that good. We have an 18% crit damage sands with elemental mastery and energy recharge. That's decent. Uh, okay, well, the goblet's usually trash, right? Because uh, they're pretty hard to farm. Oh my goodness. 16% energy recharge, 3% crit rate, and 21% crit damage. If anything, the circlet is usually very hard to farm for. So let's take a look. Oh! Excuse me, a crit rate circlet with 31.9% crit damage? With some elemental mastery and energy recharge thrown in there? Uh... Yeah, so uh, artifact wise, I'm not really gonna improve these. These are already pretty good. And if we look at her crit rate, uh, you nearly 70% crit rate and 200% crit damage. It, I'm not gonna beat that anytime soon. So Zhang Ling may be pretty much maxed for now, but we can still improve the team's overall damage by improving another character who does a lot of damage. Can you, can you guess who it is? That's right, the child. So let's let's take a look at his setup and see where we can improve. So you've already seen uh, a Skyward Harp, five-star weapon, uh, yeah, yeah. So this weapon can't really be improved. Well, I mean, the Thundering Pulse does exist, but you know, I don't wish on weapon banners. Now his talents on the other hand, you know, they're 688. Eight. We could level up the skill, that would be the most impactful one. And now the artifacts are pretty important too, so let's take a look at, oh. Oh no, oh, d this is tragic. 7% crit rate? Prepare yourself. This is even more tragic. This plume had crit rate and damage, and they didn't get enhanced any at all. It all went into health and elemental mastery. <laughs> 
I'm laughing in pain. And here he has a Sands, which is like, it's got two crit damage rolls and some injury recharge, so it's okay. His Goblet is pretty good. It's got some lots of crit rate and a little bit of crit damage. And his Circlet, it's got two crit rate rolls and like three attack rolls, so it's pretty decent actually. But these three are pretty bad. And because those three are pretty bad, his crit ratio is 54157. But you might be thinking, well, what artifacts are you going to give him? Heart of Depth is a good set for him. Also a good set for him is the one that Lisa is holding. Shimanawa's Reminiscence. Now, I've been farming the domain that drops this artifact set since it got released. So as you can see, we've got some pretty good artifacts from it. We will be feeding this flower to this flower. Goodbye, flower. It was nice knowing you. Now give me some crit rate. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Crit rate didn't get rolled into. This makes me very sad. Okay, crit rate got added at the last point. Okay. Well, that flower is slightly better than the last one. It has lots more attack on it, so that, that's an improvement. Now, it is risky, but we could sacrifice this flower because it is that bad, and I think we will. I'm sorry, Gust of Nostalgia. Your substats are just too awful. I must sacrifice you for the greater good. Hand over the crit rate. Oh, boy. What is this we got? Two crit rate enhancements, one attack, and one health. That's pretty good. Now let's see, what's the last enhancement gonna be? Oh, look at that, we got 14% crit rate on this on this plume. Very good. And also, I don't know if I showed you, tragic if I didn't, but I have I had almost 1,000 artifacts saved up for artifact XP. Look at all this artifact XP. So uh, let's get upgrading. So the hope here is that damage and rate get enhanced, and that's all. And uh, defense is the first thing to get enhanced. That's uh, that's not a good sign. Okay, energy recharge. That's not not amazing. I'd rather have damage and rate. Okay, crit rate. This is good. This is good. If we get two more crit enhancements, this is still a good artifact. Moment of truth. No defense got enhanced again. Oh, for me. For me. Oh, energy recharge. Oh, goodness. But luckily for us, look at this artifact. It's basically the same as this one. It's like a fresh start. So we're going to feed this artifact to this artifact and hope it enhances better. I'm ready to sacrifice you. You're just not very good. I'm sorry. Goodbye. What we got? Oh, dude, we got two crit rate enhancements and one ER. Can we get like uh, one more crit enhancement? That makes me sad, we got a defense enhancement. <laughs> so this is the sets he is now running. Two piece Hydro, two piece Shimanawa's Reminence. R reminiscence, uh, yes. Despite Heart of Depth's four piece set effect, our DPS has actually gone up simply because of the substats. Because now we are at nearly 2,500 attack. Before we were at 2,100 attack and the biggest improvement. We are now at 76% crit rate and 143% crit damage. Now our crit damage has gone down uh, by about 12 or 13%, but our crit rate has gone up by about 22%, which is a lot more valuable. So now, child, how else can we upgrade you? Well, like we said, we could uh, we could upgrade this skill. This would be pretty... This is, like, quite a big upgrade if we did this. But, you know, he requires Shards of Foul Legacy. And, um, I promised Hu Tao three crowns, and, uh... We need the Shards of, shards of Foul Legacy for Hu Tao. Hmm, so, um, we're gonna need more of these. So let's, uh... Go uh, bully child, yes? You're going to be bullied by the two people who need your uh, ascension materials. Not ascension materials, level up materials. A nice 99k. Hutai, you're looking a bit low there. Oh goodness. Alright, well I guess it's archery time. Goodbye child. That was a close one, I won't lie. 77 health. Ooh. A shard and two shadows of the warrior and a dream solvent. Wowee. Now, if we take a look in my inventory, we'll see that I have nine tusks, three shards, and eight shadows of the warrior. Out of these three, I kind of don't need these tusks because I probably won't get albedo and Zhong Li probably won't be rerun for a while. Now, I already have three shards, so that means I need one to crown his skill, but we could crown his burst as well. Hmm. Rip my dream solvents. Goodbye. Bam. Now, we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow before we can uh, farm these books, but uh, we're gonna need 28 books for his skill and 28 books for his burst, with 28 gold books. Everybody stand eat this! Da. Da. Bring it on! So, um, I used up the rest of my uh, fragile resin 
And uh, now I only have this much left, so I hope I have enough books. Uh, I guess I'll craft all of these ones. Jincho, you better give me a good return. How many can we make? We have eight and we can make 40. This isn't enough. <laughs> I'll make some more. And maybe just, just one more. Okay, how many do we have now? Let's have a little look-see. We have 51 philosophies of freedom. Well, child, the time has come. There's some nice looking books. I'll probably crown the skill first. Look at all that damage. Good job, child. You have been crowned. And now for the burst. Oh, look at that damage. And now uh, we need, oh, we only need like five more books. That's not that bad, actually. That's right, Tortilla. It cost me about 800 resin, but we finally got you all of your books that you needed. Kaboom. The deed is done. I'm sorry, Flower. Child must test his newfound strength with his two crowns. Let your guard down. 278,000 damage. That's a lot of damage. I have five wishes that I got. It's wishing time. Yeah. Standard yeah. wishes. D2G, let's go. <laughs> All right, a nice three star to start. All right, another three star. Third time. Ooh, a four star. What did Weapon? we get? Ooh, a sacrificial sword. That's actually kind of huge. I can put that on Jin Chu. So you can get his cooldowns faster. Nice, that's a good pull. And we got another three star, nice. All right, well, let's, next time, what we got on this last wish? Another three star, how tragic. Now next is uh, Bennett, and that's gonna require what? more books. Oh, I'm so sick of books. Oh, hey, look, I got friendship level 10 on, uh, on Fischl. Now she is my bestest buddy. Wow, would you look at the time? Tuesday. Thanks for the assist, Fischl. Now, Bennett, it is time to become royalty. Oh, 101% attack bonus ratio. Bam. You have been crowned. Now, about your weapon, Bennett. Um, we can improve this because that base attack is, oof, that's, that's pretty rough. So how about we give you this and um, we level it up a little bit. Man. I'm gonna need more of these little ball things. Luckily, it is Tuesday. Hey, five-star team, can I get a uh, assist? We got everybody standing. Here we go. Oh, what a gliding! Higher, higher, higher! Brace yourself. Teamwork is trick. Think you can get away? Much faster. Rip time. Boof. The balls have been created. Now, Benny, it's time to give you a big weapon. My enhancement ores. Down the drain. I need more but four golden balls? Excuse me? I got two purple balls from a 120 resin claim. How rare is that? The last ball. Well, join request. Well, hello, Mia. You've came to join me at the last point of upgrading. Four balls, kabam. But that's not it. We need to level this bad boy up to level 90. Oh my goodness, it's so expensive. Well, I think that's it, boys. That's the last upgrade. He has a nice high base attack. His artifacts is just no bless. I can't improve those. Though they have got some pretty good substats. Look at these substats. So I lost a bit of energy recharge, but that's okay. So I think over the last five days, I've spent over like 2,000 resin on this entire project. <laughs> so I've spent at least 3.5 million on this project because I remember having 7 million more at some point. So this was an expensive project. And now the only character left to look at is Sucrose. So she is running full elemental mastery on every single uh, every single artifact, even in the subsets of the flower and plume. And she's running thrilling tales because that gives a good attack bonus to Zhang Ling. Anyway, there's only one thing left to do. Fight the Primo Geo Varship again. And again, time how long it takes to die. It's all been leading up to this. Yourself. This is gonna hurt. 
wow, we 11.697 seconds. And I also got knocked back towards the end of that fight. Granted, I didn't miss any Zhang Ling's Pyronados, but it stopped Charles damage for about a second. So he might have died a little bit faster, but we'll take it, 11.697 seconds. So now I have some quick math for you. So Zhang Ling's old max hit with her Pyronado was 46,376. But her new biggest hit with her Pyronado is 52,268, which is a 12.7% damage increase from her Pyronado. Charles Burst last time was a critical hit and it hit 142,879. This time it was a crit and it did 158,833. So despite me losing some crit damage, my burst still did more damage overall. 11.1% more damage to be exact. And of course we have a much higher crit rate now. Now before the kill took 14.145 seconds and this time it took 11.697 seconds, which is roughly a 20% faster kill time and therefore our DPS has increased by about 20%. Since our old DPS was 55,252, and now it's 66,815. So overall, we've increased the team's overall damage by about 20%. Uh, that's not huge, but it's, like, it's kind of good, right? A 20% overall damage buff is actually kind of noteworthy. Never mind. It's, it's a good damage. Now, after this, I can't really improve this team other than getting Sucrose to Constellation 6 so that she gives Zhang Ling 20% pyro damage. The only thing I can do is get Bennett a 5-star weapon, get Zhang Ling a 5-star weapon, and get better artifacts, and that's it. Oh, and get Bennett at Constellation 5 so that his burst gets leveled up by three levels. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this journey with me. We've increased our damage by 20%, and now we can destroy the Abyss 20% easier-ish. Normally I post old school RuneScape kind of things, but this is something new because I've been enjoying playing some Genshin, so I uh, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.